Hey, here we are, folks, the freshest shot of the meatball. And with looking at this, and I will go to the full photo, just showing you that I'm pulling it right out of. And as you see, we're still getting interesting action here. And we're also seeing like we've really got almost another meatball or some large back way the hell out in space back here. Now, uh, I'll take a guess real fast that more than likely this could be mercury here. Okay. Uh, we do know that we're getting all kinds of light from the sun and the supergiants, and as you see, the huge CME there, and you see the meatball. You can't miss the meatball. We'll go to the full-size picture, and then also triangulation. Okay, is starting to take. What is this? Is that, is that what we're getting for an effect out there on some huge stars or planets out there somewhere? Because check that out. And we do know that that planet is way the hell back there. There looks like a planet. I mean, it looks like another meatball. We know the meatballs there. We can see that. And I'm going to pull this up to full size. So hang on. Okay, maybe we'll come up here. I just realized that I was screwing up, not giving you the freshest. The freshest one will be the one on the bottom of the deals. Okay, so let's go see the freshest shot from, and then you can always scroll back to this. Now, this is the freshest, should be. And I'm not even scrolling back. I'm making, this is how fast I make my videos. I, I didn't even pay attention to the clock when I showed you it down here on the picture shot down here. So I ain't even, that's how fast I make my videos, okay? So the factuality is starting to look that when we get all that darkness that you get down at the South Pole and then we get uh, the bending of light more than likely from the meatball here, which the scientists and NASA has never told us. The only thing you've ever known about the meatball is the idea that in the movie Space Cowboys, they at least have, somebody's got enough balls to try to slip space information in. There's a lot of astronomers and astrologers in Hollywood, I guarantee you that. So, factuality that more than likely the meatball right here, the hugest flipping thing that you're ever going to see till the day you die, more than likely, unless you uh, get out to see this object that is 774 times, at least almost, the size of the sun, there's another object out in space that we know of. And then that's so huge, what is it blocking from what is bigger than the sun, okay, and Jupiter's the biggest thing we know in the Milky Way galaxy of years past, and the idea that it takes almost 11 Jupiters to make the size of the sun, okay, and the sun and the supergiants is off to the right, flaring its ass off, probably saying, meatball, stay away, we don't want to have sex with you or something, who knows, you see what I'm saying, uh, whether it's male or female, and basically, factually, we're going to go show you the darkness that is down at the South Pole right now, and you know you used to see stars, so something's blocking the light of space, now, I've been here lots of times, folks, but understand the darkness, darkness that you have right now. So more than likely, my theory is factually, and I think probably scientists already know it, duh, they're probably laughing and going, we've known that for years. Well, they never told us common public, you see, layers, layers, layers. That's how the wealth of the world thinks of humanity, okay? You're just a peon, ladies and gentlemen, and you're not. I know I'm not. Because I have intangible stinky ass and stink smells good and it is worth tons of money. And I got intangible. So anyhow, here we are sitting with the super duper darkness of, and the, I can let this play through real fast, and I'll zoom it up a little bit for you for size to look at it. And basically, we know because I'm going to be able to freeze it and show you this time lapse here in the short hour or something of 7 to whatever. Okay, and I think it's at the later part of the video. Yeah, or the earlier part. Okay, because you get the normal, which would be weather or whatever, right? But then you get total pitch black darkness. You need either turn the camera off, not wanting us to see something, or the actual factual that the meatball blocks that goddamn much light from space. And I guess we were that lucky, and we did get to the moon, like that. We that uh, we've got pretty much everybody in their mind factually knows that every time you look at the, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that you look at the vi uh, footage from landing on the moon, whenever. Maybe not the 70s, the, not the late 70s, but that's the stuff they don't let you see too much of that. You can't get much archival on the late 70s or early 70s, the last time we were on the moon, okay? Because this video is playing through, and then you only get a short amount of light, a duh, and, but you don't get no stars, no nothing. You get total black, and there's the clock. So this plays real fast, so I will try to get you factuality here of watching this. And to realize, if you freeze this and watch the clock, and I think it's the 7 o'clock hour to something, that here we go. Okay, so then you get the sun, the supergiants action, right? So we'll freeze that, right? Okay. Now, no matter how much the, and it goes to darkness again within a few hours, but we'll back it up. You don't get that many hours of daylight down there, a duh, right? But the factuality that when we go to what we've seen before, you go back and watch all my old videos of watching Nehemiah or anything that you've got of watching Nehemiah, within this short amount of time on the clock, 
to, and I'll go ahead, because that's going to put it ahead. We get the clock of 7.20, okay, and then we'll go ahead, or actually back, we're backing up, okay, so we'll back up, sorry about saying, and we are backing up in time, and then you just get pitch black. So it's pretty, uh, basically, I'm going to go back down here, well, we'll make it down a little bit smaller in size, and we'll make give you the actual factuality of the more than likely, it is the meatball more than likely because it actually changes light. They're not turning the camera off. So more than likely, the meatball, as I go back to, and there you go, in the time reference, and you can watch the clock right there. Okay, there goes the sun. But super, super giants, excuse me. Well, the sun's there in the super giants. And then you'll get the light, whatever they get for the day. And then they'll get the, you know, it's the time that, of the year where the idea that they get less light, and then they have possibly put a water tower down there, which we've never seen on any of the shots before. Well, that might be what the camera was on, but we do know that that spot that you'd always see was not the uh, water tower. It was basically something up in space. So, and even if we end up being wrong on it, it sure didn't look like it had the bottom of the tower before when we'd see the shadow. So, uh, duh, facts bleed true. You can't argue and lie too much because the actual factuality is we used to not see anything below the bottom of that sphere that would go around and come by. Okay? So, anyway, no matter what, we're getting pitch darkness, and it sure the hell looks like it's natural, and it's more than likely. Now, this will also play real fast, too, and this is... Uh, I get so many damn webcams that I go to, but I think we'll pretty much remember that this, I believe, is the south. Anyway, this is the darkness they get there at that camera, too. So basically, and it's factual, and this plays fast, or it was loading fast. So I'll come back to this. Now, we know that this is not Lovejoy, ladies and gentlemen, if this is a comet, okay? Now, it is a good possibility that this may be a comet. And remember the idea that we may have caught a comet going this direction, either direction, doesn't matter whether it's going that direction or this direction, and more than likely the meatball is what always gives us the certain periods of darkness on Earth at the North or the South Pole. The huge meatball that nobody ever says is out there in space, okay, but it is, okay. It's huge, and as you see, it's over by the sun and the supergiants, and it's huge. It's humongo. Huge, 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 and it's the meatball, and you see it your eyes don't, and it's no camera flare, it's no nothing, and it's there, and more than likely this is a comet here, and maybe a comet there, because we will go back to the picture, because this should be the same photo I showed you to begin with, and then we'll see a little bit more action, I thought, down there, well, maybe not as much action, but anyway, so something is triangulating, and basically you can kind of see something triangulated, and basically behind some of these dark planets, did you see planets there on that shot? covering up some huge V, okay, and that's not a satellite, okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is not a satellite, okay, we'll be lucky if this is Earth right here, which, uh, do not, well, but then if there's whatever's lit up, that possibly, maybe we have found Earth, but I'd really doubt that, because there's Venus, and more than likely, this is Mercury, and more than likely, if anything has got a chance of being us, it could be possibly this. And maybe this is all the darkness of this angle that you got here of the meatball to the sun and the supergiants right here. Okay? So the Earth is somewhere in a V directly behind, which we're taking a guess that this is Mercury, but we know that that's Venus, so more than likely Mercury, Venus, and then some V action somewhere, like we've always said, we're back behind here somewhere. And the idea of the meatball is giving us that darkness at the South Pole. Now, uh, light propagation, and no matter what, this is astounding here, because no matter what, this is below Venus somewhere, and there's a gigantic long fork. There is the chopsticks, but anyway, more than likely it looks like a comet, and a comet, or electrical magnification between planets, and you got dark planets or dead stars, which basically that's what a dead star is, is a planet, and, uh, or dying out stars that ain't illuminated that much, and you got that there, and that there, and this is all on that shot right there. And it's not the freshest one. The freshest one was the one that I went to the second shot. The one in between these two. So this was the first one. Let's look at something in between. So in between we'll go to something in the 17th. And we'll just pull up probably about right there. I don't know if it's the dead middle. And we'll yank that one up. And we'll take a look at this. Okay. And 
And here we go. I don't even think I stopped the recorder. So there is the sun even getting more of its that C class, almost an M. And that, more than likely, is what's making, at least that's one of the elements. And then the sun is in the supergiants. And like I say, you can sit there and see, and you can pretty it's pretty much not hard to argue, not to say that there is not a sphere or something around right there. Okay. And then you have Venus. And we know the meatball's there. Okay, that's the meatball. You can see the meatball. You can't miss it. Okay, you can see the outline of it. You can see the damn meatball right there between us and the sun. Because somehow, somewhere, Earth is somewhere here. Somewhere here, the Earth is. Somewhere, Earth is there. Because that's the sun and the supergiants over there to the right. And there's Venus, and we know we're close to Venus somewhere, decently at an angle between Venus and more than likely, like we say, we keep guessing that this is Mercury. Okay, and it doesn't really matter. It's the Sun, it's the Milky Way galaxy and the supergiants, and the Sun is in this supergiants main sequence over here. Okay, and if I'm totally wrong, and this is Mercury here and stuff like that, but what are all these planets? Because they're not satellites. In the past, they've always faked people out saying that they're satellites. Satellites are too goddamn small to be that flippin' bright. Okay, they're never satellites. Satellites are a speck of dust, because Earth is a speck of dust when you're looking at these photos, okay? Earth is somewhere in here, and you got that there in a brightness below it, which you know that more than likely is another planet, putting this off some kind of a CME reactive flare of their atmosphere to the CME flare of the sun to the right, the sun and in the supergiants, and it's huge, okay? So you know it's the supergiants because you can see the CME action, it's not just the sun, because that's not Jupiter, and Jupiter is, uh, takes 11 of them at least to make the size of the sun, and we know the sun and the supergiants is over here to the right, okay? That's not Jupiter, ladies and gentlemen, don't let anybody fake you out, that is not flipping Jupiter. Okay, Jupiter looks something like Venus or whatever when it's in one of these shots, okay? Or a little bit larger than one of these or maybe two or three of these put together would be what Venus looks like, okay? It's not Venus. I mean, it's not uh, Jupiter, excuse me. I'm not going to waste time, but the idea that you realize what I'm saying is Jupiter ends up looking like one of these objects, a Venus, Mercury, or whatever, okay? And that is the supergiants over to the right, CME flare, and lighten up the meatball. You can't miss it. So, in space, we know that Earth is somewhere over here, somewhere anywhere to the side of here. This could be us here. It doesn't really matter. But something's causing darkness down there at Antarctica. Okay, I'm going to go back, and you're going to see darkness, okay? Okay, so then we step, and we start it, and we should be able to step, 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 and here comes the sun and the supergiants. There comes the sun and the supergiants, okay? So, at nighttime, something is totally blocking space light, Okay? from way out in, and if you hear the phone ringing again, uh, it's not NASA calling, and it's not Houston. I don't expect any phone calls. I don't talk to anybody, especially on a telephone. So here we go, and we get, we'll get daylight, more than likely sooner or later, and this is the Attica Bay, I believe it's the south camera, and it really doesn't matter, it's just factuality. So there, that's how much light they had at that direction, that, at that angle. So that's how much light angles we get right now down there, okay, and I'll just keep tapping, and basically, I'll see if I can get the deal, and I'll hit refresh, and I think it'll hit play, and I'll hit refresh again, and it should do it, I just tried to save time, and here you'll get a flash, a f fast flash play of basically, this is all actual darkness down there, and that was it. So basically, that, if I hit refresh again, you're going to see what you get at that different angle direction down at the South Pole. And there's where we would get all that sun from the supergiants and, the, and everything. And basically, that's the sun and the supergiants coming up. And then we will factually actually go back to... So you can go down here to Nehemiah, and I'll play that one there. And basically, they get daylight down there, okay? So at different angles, basically, that, that camera there, which is the, uh, the northwest. Northeast, northeast, sorry, right there, northeast. So that's what you were getting was northeast, folks. When I was kept on saying, I don't know, I don't know. That's northeast. This is to the south. Let's go look at that one. Now, no matter what, it's not the video camera, and if this plays, and if it doesn't, see, you get that at nighttime, okay? So, Earth is hella spinning fast, folks, because that's actual light from space, folks. And if you watch, that's not a camera glitch, okay? That camera is not glitching, folks. That is, well, maybe it is a glitch then, going through fast speed when they fast forward the web camera footage, okay? So... I guess they are bored with the nighttime view of it, and then they speed it up, and you get that. 
through the camera at nighttime. 